them and we cast them and it's a super cooperative casting process. It's very fun, there isn't any competitive, I'm going to win this part, we all work it out. And people get something that they, that they like um, and we, we work on them for a few weeks. We really have two days a week and then snow days come in and then professional development days work in. And, and we lost Thursdays this week, which I had strategically forgotten about. So we had a, a lot less rehearsal time. So we have what we have, and it's going to be fun, and people are going to miss lines. I know it. I know people are going to miss lines. So the question is whether you're going to know when they did or not. So if they're strong actors, they'll miss lines, and you won't even know. And so that's what we're hoping for. So this is Ferris Wheel by Mary Miller. Excuse me, I hope I'm not crowding you, am I? No. Okay. I would have sat somewhere else, but the line's too long for anyone to sit by themselves. They force you to sit as a couple whether you want to or not. Not that I mind, it's my pleasure. Are, are, are you comfortable? Just fine. Well, we're off. Are, are you all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just fine. Are you sure? Couldn't be better. But you aren't looking. No heights, I'm frightened of heights. And you rode a Ferris wheel. Just once a year on my birthday. Uh, happy birthday. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Your, your knuckles are turning white. Are you sure that's good for your circulation? What well, doesn't kill me makes me stronger type of thing. So you do this and move a birthday party with cake and ice cream. Ha, uh, no. I have that too, after, like a reward. But you go through this first. Yeah, my daddy started it and I keep it up. He was frightened of fights? No, he just believed you should do something once a year that you're frightened of. You ought to try it sometime. I am riding. No, something you're frightened of. I had this cousin once who pretended like she was frightened of small spaces. So we locked her in the attic and lightning struck the house, burned straight to the ground. Now she's frightened of fire? No, she's dead. <laughs> Truth is stranger than fiction. I had this art teacher once named, yeah, that's right. I had this art teacher once named Miss Thumb. She always said all you need to paint were your tender fingers and she'd hold up age. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm fine. Okay. Joe. You're not from around here, are you? Nope, just passing by. Saw the wheel and thought I'd stop by. That's my little car down there, see? I'll take your word for it. <laughs> so, it's funny running into a man like yourself on a Ferris wheel alone. Oh, I, I used to do this when I was younger, but you get older. Nonsense, you're never too old. My mom always said you're only as old as you feel. But some days they feel like I'm 100. <laughs> what happened? Uh, looks like we stopped. Stuck? Why? We seem to be stuck. Ugh. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, they're probably just making an adjustment or something. We'll be moving any minute. We'll be rolling. Any minute. Uh, would you care for a cigarette? Calm your nerves. No, I don't smoke, do you? Not if you don't want me to. No, it doesn't bother me. All right. You know, I went to this art museum once where they had an invisible man. They put a cigarette in his mouth and smoke slowly trickled down the windpipe and into the lungs until it was just a brown dripping glob. <laughs> they said that's what happens to the layer of your lungs each time you take it off. So I don't smoke, but go ahead. <laughs> um, I, you know, I was thinking of giving it up. Um, nasty habit. It uh, kills you. Yeah, really bad for your lungs. Now is a better time than ever. Do something you're afraid of. Sure. Wh wh why not? Yeah. Once you start, don't quit because remember my poor dead cousin. I don't need a cigarette. Good. <laughs> <laughs> so, this, this, this is okay, this is easy, this is, I don't need, no, I don't need a cigarette. Yeah, I, but today's bad. I knew today was going to be bad, and the cream curled up in my coffee like a relief map of the Himalayas. This, this is easy, I can, I can do this. I should have checked my horoscope today. Mm -hmm. So, um, you wouldn't happen to have any gum, would you? Uh, 
fruit, mint, how long has it been? Uh, well, I, I wouldn't have any gum. My grandmother never allowed it. Neither would mine. Thought it was tacky, bad for your teeth. Waste of money. Socially incorrect. She grew up during the Depression, always kept her money in this black leather purse pinned to her side. My family's always been socially correct, even at the most politically incorrect times. When she died, that was the first time I'd ever seen her without that purse. My cousin made a debut during the Vietnamese War. I thought without that purse, she wasn't going any place. My sister was a Nixon at the Watergate convention. Not heaven. We got a color TV the day Kennedy was shot. Not hell. We spent the rest of the week watching his funeral. They say her house is haunted. In black and white. I know what she's looking for. On a color TV. The damn purse! Well, I doubt I have any gum, but you're welcome to look. No, 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 uh, uh, so, I'm, I'm fine, so, seriously, how long has it been? Five minutes. Five minutes? I'm already starving. I feel like I'm gonna blow up like a blimp. I wish you'd quit mentioning food. You're moving. I I'm not moving. Twitching. I'm, I'm not twitching. Your leg, it's moving like a house of fires. Is this some kind, some kind of nervous twitch or is this a warning signal before you break into a full uncontrollable fit? I'm not breaking into a fit. <laughs> oh, nervous twitch, wouldn't you know it? No, no, I'm not twitching, look, see, you see, I, don't, don't, don't look. Uh, look, studies are off. Oh God. Oh God, what if we make us climb out on the ladder? I can't climb out on the ladder. Uh, it's okay, just breathe, breathe. <sighs> Better? Better. It's all willpower. Imagine a stream, a peaceful, winding stream. Draw it into your mouth. Feel it hitting you. Here. Cough! Oh god. You wouldn't to have a, you wouldn't have to have a tic tac lifesaver. Cracker? I wish you'd quit mentioning food. It's like mentioning going to the bathroom on a on a speeding highway. Jeez, I hadn't thought about going to the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> you promise me one thing. What? You won't eat me. <laughs> Eat you. <laughs> Eat me. I've seen it before. <laughs> Shipwrecked on the desert island, snowbound in the Andes, so worrying about falling in love, you have to worry about being eaten. I am not that hungry. <laughs> of course I could lose a few pounds or two, but it always drops out of my face and I look like a cadaver with hips. I, I, I feel... I, I feel fat. Do I look fat? I'm putting on weight and I'm just sitting here. <laughs> Nonsense. You're thin. I, I used, used to be thin. thin. Back in high school, I had to pin my pantyhose to my bra, turn my pantyhose up and my bra down. But, uh, you, you filled out nicely. Thank you. A regular beauty pageant contestant. I was once, but I didn't win. The beauty girl doesn't always win. If looks were all that mattered, anyone could win. Oh, I'm, I'm sure you won Miss Congeniality. Uh, no, she was amazing, though. She always said you were prettier than she was. That was one sure-fired way of making friends at a beauty pageant contestant. Whoa. And she was a cousin. Would that she were, we'd have been proud to have her in our family tree. <clears throat> Out! You're... Stop chewing your finger. You're gonna bite it clear down to the nub. I, it's, it's just a hangout. I had this roommate once who got infected to hang now. We had to cut, it got gangrene and we had to cut her finger off. You said this cousin of yours who broke this pack died, right? Dead in the door now. I said her corpse was charred beyond. Like stop, stop. I'll give you a hundred dollars if you don't say another word. I can't take money from strangers. My mama never allowed it. <laughs> it, 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 it it's hot up here. Do, do you feel hot? I feel hot. No. I, I, how can you feel anything? I'm sorry. You've been doing nothing but talking since you sat down. I'm, I'm sorry. It's my fault. They, they say when you die, your life flashes in front of you in five minutes. I never believed that was possible until now. I'm boring you. No, you're not boring me. It's just, I, I've been smoking since I was 12. I, like, I would always go to church and I'd fish out enough change to buy a pack. God got the bulk of it, but he's getting even now. <laughs> I, no, I understand. I always talk too much. I, especially when I'm nervous or scared, um, I just feel my body float over my head and I just want to slap myself saying, SHUT UP, SHUT UP, SHUT UP! <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> my greatest flaw is I just want people to like me. No Sally Fields acceptance speech. You like me, you like me. I'm the only one who thought that had a real meaning. I like you. How can you tell when you keep fighting, twitching, and picking? And listening. Sometimes when I listen to you, I forget about smoking. You're teasing. 
No, I'm not. I do like you, and I, uh, I don't even know your name. My name's Doreen, but my friends call me Dory. Pleased to meet you, Dory. I'm John. Hi, John. Oh, God. Just, just remember to look up. Look up. Better? Better. <laughs> Sorry about the smoking. No, it's okay. Nasty habit. I was planning on giving it up anyway. Uh, yeah. Oof. I bet your wife will be happy. I, I, I'm not married. No? N you? No, no, but you, I assumed. No, uh, divorce. Traveling salesman, except she couldn't take the traveling, so she moved on. I'm sorry. Nah, it's okay. You get used to being alone. You get over it. You adjust. Oh, yeah, I can even eat alone now, as long as I have something to read. Like, at, like at the diners with the itty bitty sugar packets with the state facts on them. You can learn so much from that. The state flowers, the state <laughs> birds. What was that for? I thought if I kissed you, you'd stop talking for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> I wasn't talking. No, 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 my lips. I, uh, I had to do something with my lips. So you didn't do anything about it. It was just kind of a reflex action. It wasn't totally reflex. I mean, I enjoyed it. You did? <laughs> <laughs> Lip switching for another cigarette? No, no, partially. But not wholly? I wanted to see if I enjoyed it the second time as much as I did the first. Did you? <sighs> <laughs> Looks like we're moving. Oh, God. Won't be long now. They're letting us off one by one. You don't think we'll go around again? Oh, no. They'll probably close us down forever. This is us. It's been a pleasure. You better get to the smoking. We can't have you kissing every girl in the park. <laughs> Dory! Coming back next year? Yes, it's a tradition, and my family's keen on tradition.